All right, now realistically, you can't have a party that includes alcohol without knowing how to make alcohols from alkenes, i.e. how to add water across a double bond between two carbons. One way is to simply heat the alkene in water with acid, but apparently that can be a little harsh. And there's a second way that organic chemists prefer to use which involves an organomercury intermediate. Here's what I mean. If you see an alkene with this HGOAC2, that's because you're going to make an alcohol. Now, the final product from this reaction is going to be the same as we would have predicted if it was just being heated in acidic solution with water, where you break open the double bond and you add an H to whichever carbon has the most H's on it, and you add the OH to whichever carbon has the least number of H's on it. But the point here is that this happens via a couple different, you know, steps. The first step is that this double bond breaks open and an HGOAC attaches to each of them. You get this triangular shape. You still have two hydrogens attached to the second carbon. You still have two CH3s attached to the first carbon, but the double bond's been broken open and you get this organomercury triangle of awesomeness. Now, what really happens is that the OH from the water can now attach itself to this first carbon. Here's the OH and here's that first carbon. Now, it had a couple CH3s attached to it, but now the triangle's been broken open. As you probably know, triangular shapes among carbons are not that popular in the chemistry world. The OH comes in, breaks open one of the bonds between the C and the mercury. And now we have this, which just looks like a regular alkane to me. But the problem is it's not done. And we have a free H floating around because we already stole the OH away. And the H basically replaces the HGOAC. Long story short, if you're not in the mood to do a regular old fashioned break open the alkene and acid, you can always use mercury uh, whatever this is <laughs> to make this triangular intermediate and you get the same damn product it's just you know another way to do it organic chemists prefer best of luck